Hey, gorgeous friend, how are you? Welcome to Soulvine. This is Jamie. We are checking in for your energies, Pisces. Let's see what's going on for the week ahead and how we can support your journey. Just remember, not everything's going to resonate, but um, let's, yeah, let's dive in and see what is going on. So first up, we've got the Seven of Swords and then we have the Ace of Wands. I don't read reversals, but I'll let you know what the energy is just coming through. Uh, I am paying attention there. Uh, in addition to that, um, I'll let you know what's past, present and future. And we'll dive in even more as we get into the extended. If that's something you feel called uh, to connect to, it is the first link below. You get full access for the month and for all the past uh reads as well extenders are around 30 minutes to an hour really depends on the messages coming through okay so seven of swords ace of wands four of wands wow center of the read you do have the lovers energy and then we have the nine of cups okay you're so interesting energy going on here let's dive in a little bit more I mean it's looking pretty good obviously you know starting with the seven of swords I feel that's more okay an internal aspect yeah okay let me just move these up a bit yeah so the seven of swords ace of wands and four of wands as we're starting off here it seems like there is something here, uh, Pisces, around <clears throat> either something that you're thinking of, you know, maybe initially you thought with a connection that, you know, someone had some strategy of, you know, to win you over uh, with the way they were presenting themselves. I'm not too sure who you've been connecting with or the situation, but I'm just getting a sense here. Maybe you were questioning if someone's intentions were real, if they're alluring you, um, you know, presenting something here to you that is perhaps legitimate in some regard, um, you know, whether they had a strategy to, to get you. I don't know. That's the kind of energy that seems to be coming through. Um, this could also be your own way that you choose to move forward in certain situations. Maybe you're being a bit more strategic with new beginnings in your life, uh, especially where there's some form of passionate pursuit. So this could be through your work, uh, through relationships, friendships, anything that's kind of capturing your attention and getting you a bit excited. We are in Leo season right now. So there is a lot of, um, a lot of energy uh, presenting itself to, to get moving, to get going, to do things and be okay to stand out in, in and kind of not accepting, so to speak, but choosing to step forward, accelerate in, in your true trueness, if that makes sense. Um, but I have a feeling here, you may be doing something a little bit differently because of a past experience, but at the same time, for some of you, you could be questioning someone's intentions. But as we move to the four of wands, this could be around some commitment, something that you're going to, I don't know, I feel like you're getting recognized here, Pisces. I just do notice the four of wands with the six of wands here. Um, so someone, you know, initially you may have thought, was just, you know, we'll see where this kind of goes, could end up becoming something more meaningful, more in depth uh, as you guys step forward. But yeah, there could be some commitment here or someone wants to, you know, walk a certain path and journey for you. Some of you could be moving towards marriage or this is some reflection if you are married um, as well or looking to deepen a commitment that was maybe initially, I don't know, I just feel like something's been in a little bit of a question here. Like there's a bit of a question mark, but, um, what I feel that you're noticing, and, and this could be part of your strategy, like paying attention. Is this, is this situation actually giving as well? You know, um, and the reason I say that you, you, you're looking at, or I'm seeing here about the effort that's needed to, and the value received, there seems to be something around that, but yeah, I'm just getting a sense here for some of you, if this is around your work, your career, or some ambition that you have. I feel like something's opening up here with this four of wands that 
it's going to take, you know, work, but it's dedicated work. It's passionate work. You know, there's still a lot to learn here to grow from. So that's kind of exciting, you know, uh, and with the lover's energy in play, this could be part of a decision, but I'm getting more. We've got the Cupid's arrow here. So I'm getting more again, a commitment. Um, it's really interesting with this energy because we have two women, two women, two women <laughs> and a, a masculine here. So I don't know, guys, there's something here about threes that I'm noticing because we do have the three of pentacles as well and the lovers. So this could be about a choice in love um, that just seems to be standing out. Maybe it's a decision that you need to make. Um, this may not be about choosing between two people, but choosing between maybe something or someone that's in your life or an opportunity right now and what it is that you actually want or does it align with what you want. But I'm seeing here there's something in terms of this decision-making process or this connection that feels really good. There's something here about your wish fulfillment. So I really feel something is escalating, moving forward in a really um, wonderful way because it's like the choice has been made. Look at this energy. Yeah. I don't know if you can see this. Um, but the way that these two are coming up, yeah, there's something really happy, like happy with the choice, happy with the decision. Yeah, there's something coming together is what I'm feeling here. And then we've got the uh, three of pentacles uh, with the king of swords, four of swords and six of wands. So again, I think there's something that someone, I feel like someone's leading here right now with this three of pentacles, wanting to work on something, build on something here. Like, let's just make it work. Let's figure out how to make this work. What do we need to do to keep building upon this is what I'm getting. But again, someone's leading this energy, um, I don't know, it's very mature energy as well, whatever that you're working with, dealing with or experiencing. And this could be quite refreshing for you, Pisces, if you haven't had someone that comes from that angle that kind of shows you, you know, it's like their words and actions meet. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a, an under, underlying energy of someone that just is very mature in the way that they communicate. Um yeah, that there's, I just keep getting that very mature in the way this person communicates. And I feel with this four of swords, this is giving you some new peace because you also know in your past what you've experienced. And I think too, you know, perhaps why you have a new strategy in the way that you go towards something or someone right now, like you've learned a lot on your journey and you kind of look at things perhaps a little bit differently. So I feel you might have a certain way or path or journey that you use that you take that works for you. And, um, there's definitely a new beginning here. You could be questioning this new beginning to see where it's going. Um, wanting a commitment or wanting to know, or trying to really understand, is this the path I want to go? So you could be weighing it up, but again, someone is really matching their words and actions is what I feel. There's a lot of sense of maturity here with this situation, this offer, this opportunity in terms of this path and journey. And I do feel right now that I'm just getting a sense here because look at the masculine, the masculine is kind of like leading the way here is what I'm getting. The masculine's leading the way on how to build on something. And I think that's really wonderful. Okay. There could be some information. I don't know why this is coming through. There could be some information being shared right now too on other people that you kind of, whether this is you whether you identify masculine or feminine energy as your most dominant or this is a person that you're dealing with, I just feel like someone is sharing uh, news here or communicating with people like, I don't know what I'm getting. It's kind of like a kind of telling people they want to be a part of, they want you to be a part of something is kind of what I'm getting, but I'm just getting like this, this masculine energy, someone's leading here. I don't know, you could be being asked to go out 
um, or someone's asking you to join, you know, forces with on a certain project or work on something. But I'm just getting a sense here, like someone is being told, like, I want you to be a part of this, meaning not you, another person, but the reason they want you to be a part of this is because they value you as part of this equation. So again, it could be someone that someone works with but, or a best friend. I want you to meet this person. I want you to connect here. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting. It's like you're going to be introduced, Pisces, um, but they're trying to get other people. I don't want to say on board, so to speak, but there's, I think there's interest and curiosity here to keep building on what you guys have or an opportunity that you guys can build together and, and deepen this, um, and kind of, yeah, just kind of escalate uh, in a really good way, whatever this is. But I am getting a sense here that the communication is bringing a lot of peace to this. Someone may, you know, share their own experiences, their own journey that they've been on too. Um, things that, you know, maybe they haven't felt also as recognized or valued or appreciated the way that you interact. Uh, this could also be someone that's showing you that and there's like, you know, just something that's really nice and refreshing. Let's have a look at the influence here with this overall energy. Okay, we've got the two of wands and the six of pentacles. So this is the, the influential energy right now over this situation, which is, you know, really talking here about um, making plans, coming together, you know, you two of ones two can be like partnership. I don't know. I'm getting union of some kind here, but I'm loving this too, because this is the six of pentacles. Um, and I feel this situation or this energy is that it's going to put you in a position where things are working out. You will receive what you need to do, whatever you need to do in terms of your plans. I don't know if some of you are traveling or looking to travel. Um, but I'm just getting like, in terms of resources, if that's a matter here, um, I feel like that's going to be very supportive and very positive for whatever plans that you're making. It's like the universe is working with you to, you know, support this next path and journey that you're stepping on. And yeah, you're just going to be provided for as the energy that I'm getting. Let's have a look at where this overall energy is going. Okay. We've got the devil. We've got the high priestess, interesting energy. We've got the Ace of Cups. And one more. An Ace of Swords. Interesting. I'm trying to understand here. I mean, obviously we're going to dive more into this in the extended, but I think I'm trying to understand here from your perspective, Pisces, because you, you do represent the high priestess, which is kind of saying, Hey, let's, let's pay attention here to your intuition. Um, this could be to someone that's really bothered with something that they're keeping or withholding, or you're feeling like there's something like you may be a bit polarized on something that you can't, that you're thinking about. It's like, the energy I'm getting is like, I don't, there's something that I know I don't know. And it's bothering you. Okay. Um, so there could be a little bit of overthinking. It could also be too, that you're trying to tap into your intuition, but it's, it's kind of like this. Um, also too, when we're manifesting, if you've heard of manic manifesting, right, where your energy can be a little bit all over the place because you're trying to talk yourself into something, talk yourself out of something. It's like, or holding on so tightly to this situation. And just with the devil energy, when it shows up this way, that's kind of what I feel may be happening because what I'm sensing here is, there's a new, a new, uh, new emotional connection here, a new feeling around something or someone's, you know, here and expressing how they're feeling. Um, and there's also like some information being shared, some truths here. There's some clarity here around this connection, around this situation. So I feel I am getting a sense, whatever's been potentially hidden or being kept from, or something that you're worried about around a new connection, I feel you're going to get some truth here or get really clear on what this is. And we will unpack that in the extended. So if you do wish to join us there, um, again, it's the first link below. Um, but overall here, Pisces, you know, I can see positive movement forward. I can see a choice here, whether, you know, you should, 
you know, continue on with a situation. Again, looking at what action someone is taking, but I feel like you're being called right now to move into something, but you're getting people that put it this way. You've got someone who's leading you somewhere, which I think is really nice. It's, it seems like, um, if you're the masculine, I feel like you're, you're leading someone in your space right now that you want to be a part of something more in your life. Again, whether this is love or work or just, you know, in terms of that space, a friend. Um, but it could be, you know, as well that the feminine is, is being led by a beautiful masculine who wants to, to show you more of their world, be a part more of their world is kind of what I'm getting here. But amongst this influence, I just feel that there's more going on for you than you may realize where things are, partnerships are coming together, plans are coming together and everything that, that you've been needing to support this connection, I feel is just naturally going to happen. There's a lot of balance here. Okay. Um, I like how we've got the three of pentacles kind of like overarching this. It's kind of like a, that rainbow I think of the, the, the family energy, right? I'm kind of getting a bit of a 10 of cups energy here, four of wands energy here of this portal or path. And it's someone again, being in a place where they can give, but also something's balanced out. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just really liking this and, and, and the, the value this is bringing the peace this is bringing someone definitely feels very understood here. Um, and I do feel, yeah, I mean, this could be you, but it could also be how you're making someone feel, but let's unpack it more, see where this connection is going, what choices are being made. And, um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you over there. If not, thank you for being here. Please like, and subscribe to the channel. It really supports uh, us and getting connected to all the amazing Pisces clan. And, uh, yeah, otherwise I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye friend.